Hey, this is YBR with Beam and G Drive, and today we're going to be taking a look at a map called Baja Track. And if we're on a Baja track, we need some Baja vehicles. Now, there are two vehicles we're going to be using. One is a Baja Roamer, and then the other one is a Baja D-Series. And both of these are made by the same person who made this map. And it was basically, they made the Baja vehicles, then they decided they needed a map to drive the Baja vehicles on. So now we're going to do both of them in one single video because they work together really, really well. And right there... I started to lift up a little bit on my corner. I wonder how tightly I could corner with this thing without it tipping over. Oh, it really wants to tip. Like, you go around a corner, you got two and a half wheels on the ground. Yeah, two and a half. How you have half a wheel on the ground? Well, watch. Like, one of the wheels, it's touching the ground, but it ain't doing nothing. So, two and a half. Although, right there, I can't do it because I'm going a little slow. And I gotta go slow because that looks like it's a real rough transition right there. And if I was going too fast, we'd probably wreck the truck. Let's test that theory. No, not exactly, although we'll do a little bit of a stoppy right there, trying to slow down before the corner. Come on. Oh, yeah, you could really, like, get this thing lifted. I'm going to try to roll it on the next corner just for the heck of it. I bet we can. So right there, there's a corner. And turn in tight. Oh, yep, you could roll that. No problem. Can it roll upright and keep driving? I see no real issues that could cause it not to drive, so let's try to get it upright. Upright, upright, yes. Now it does have a little bit of engine damage. And the suspension in the back is absolutely ruined. It doesn't even line up with the truck anymore. So it just really, <laughs> it drives crook. That looks so wacky. Like the whole rear suspension is just basically falling out. And now the drive shaft broke. I'm surprised it didn't break sooner, to be honest with you. Can I basically just kind of like pull that out? Just like this thing isn't doing anything. I could just kind of yank it out. Oh, it's still attached a little bit. I mean, it really is kind of just glitching the vehicle more so than attached. Anyways, we'll reset that, back it out, and keep on going. Try not to flip it for the rest of this. I don't think there's that much left, and I'm pretty sure it loops around. We just got to keep on driving to make sure of that. And we'll go really slow right there. I was a little bit worried I was going to accidentally flip. You know, it's funny. When I want to flip, boy, is it easy. When I don't want to flip, boy, is it hard. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so that was interesting. I kind of hit the brakes, and when I was in the sand, it almost did a stoppy. So let's see. If I go brakes, can we do a stoppy? Not quite. It was just a coincidence the way I was bouncing, plus the brakes that made it do a stoppy. You can't just do a stoppy at will, although that would be awesome to be able to do. You can't. And there we go. That is a full loop of the place. Don't flip over. Whoa. Okay, that works for me. So now we're going to go ahead and grab the Baja Roamer and we're going to drive it in the opposite direction. So it's pretty similar to the D-Series, I would assume. Just, it's a Roamer instead of a D-Series. And this time we'll try doing the course in the opposite direction since I've already done it in the other direction. Can it be done in both directions? Well, we'll be finding out shortly. Seems a little bit more bumpy in this direction. Might be designed for going in the other direction the way the bumps feel, but we're going to keep on trying. Like you notice right there, those are much steeper. Which is okay for a landing, but when you're actually hitting those, it can be pretty deadly to your vehicle if you go too fast. Ironically enough, it almost feels like this thing is more stable, like going around corners. I'm sure I could flip it over or roll it or whatever if I really wanted to, but it feels like it doesn't want to roll as much as the D-Series. And actually, right there, that kind of proves it, because I was trying to roll it, and it's just like, no, I'm not rolling for you. I'm holding on. Oh, that looks weird. Can we actually go up that thing? There's the roll. All right. Took two tries, but we can roll that thing. Just gotta hope it lands perfectly upright. Awesome. Now, can we go up this thing? My money's on no. Nah, not happening, but we could go around it. It's not like it's a bridge or anything. It's just this giant lump in the road that slows you down. I have a Baja vehicle. I don't need to stay on no roads. I could go all the way around the road and not even care about that stupid lump. Although, it was fun to go in the other direction on the lump. Just don't get to have that fun this way. So yeah, that lump right there kind of proves that this thing is made to go in this direct, or the opposite direction, not this one. Hitting that at full speed, actually not that much damage, although wow. That actually killed the car. Like somehow the engine got damaged even though like the whole engine compartment barely looks damaged aside from the hood. Yeah, it's, it's done. So we'll just reset it, keep on driving. Now there are some towers that just kind of look awkward right there. That just looks funky. Oh, there was water right there, right? As I damaged the radiator. Oh, yeah, this is much more violent to drive in this direction than the other direction. I'm busting up my radiator all over the place here. But there we go. That is another completion of the place. And I want to go look at that mountain. 
It's not part of the course, but it does look interesting. If we could get to the top of that and then chuck the car down, that'd be great. I don't know if there's a road to go up it. We're going to just kind of circle around it to find one if there is. And if there isn't, we'll just teleport it. Although we could probably just teleport it right now and look if there's a road from above, which would be a little bit faster. I see no reason why not to drive around the mountain because, you know, you'll see things like that. It looks like a mirage, but it's actually water. Uh, for a second, I thought my car was on fire the way the dust was coming out of it. It just for a second, I was like, is that fire? Nope, just the dirt and the dust being kicked up. Or sand, I guess, if you really want to be technical about it. And there's a tree. My front bumper has said hello to that tree. Some more water, just take a quick dip in it. Flying, come on. Oh, interesting place to roll on me. But it looks like there is no road to go up this thing. We've basically circled it. We'll continue circling it like that. Yeah, no road, so... Teleportation will be the way to do this. So we go right there and then we can just let it fall. It's not bad. It's not bad at all for letting the vehicle fall. We should do the truck as well. That way both of them get to fall down this thing. So reset up there. Well, actually, we're going to have to do this reset spawn really fast thing. So we go, there is the vehicle I want. And we hit reset, replace. And then it gets us at the top. And I'll try to make it roll on the opposite side, so we move it to there, and then let it just fall. Oh, it landed on its wheels a little bit. A little bit, because it didn't right there. And all the way to the ground, absolutely non-functional because the engine has been damaged. So how about this? Let's see, if we were to be kind of in the middle of the mountain, is there a way to get down it gently? So if we started right here, reset... One with a functional vehicle, not one that's ruined. And then just try to slowly and calmly drive down this thing. Is there a path we can find that goes down easily? I mean, I'm sure if you tried hard enough, eventually you'd find something. We're just going to see if we can find something on this first attempt. And, oh, this automatic is going to kill me. I basically gave up right here. I'm surprised this thing hasn't rolled over. I'm going to put it to, uh, well, I can't even do manual because it actually has an automatic transmission. Right? Because it says drive. So that's more awkward than not, probably, unless I just stick it in the first gear and hold it there. So that's what we're going to be doing. Because if you want to go into reverse, it is so weird. And Oh, no. No, 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 no. Not on this side. There is no way down on that side. That is way too steep. Let's, about, let's see about the other side. So we're going to just back this thing up, use the awkward shifter to get in the first gear, and go in this direction instead. I mean, it looked like when I was driving around it, everywhere is pretty steep. And if you're going to find a way down, it's... Going to be pretty lucky. That's not what I expected at all to happen. Very, very careful. I'm afraid to, like, hit the brakes, though, because you notice whenever I'm slowing down, it tries to do a stoppy. Like, right there, you see just the front wheels are touching it, and I have no control when that happens. They're just kind of rolling along. So let me try that one more time. I'm not going to stop this time, though. I'm just going to let it roll and hope I don't hit anything too hard because actually trying to stop did not work out. See, now the back wheels are not lifting up. There we go. Faster is safer. It's like me when I'm going down a hill or something. I always walk faster because I feel like I'm going to fall over if I walk too slow. What? I'm stuck? No way. Keep going. All right, so we're actually making a little bit of progress here, but I don't know where we're going to go from here. Really don't know where to go from here. Let's see. Nope, that's not happening. Well, nah, nah, nah. Not happening don't think the Roamer would have give me any better of a chance than the D-Series did, so I think that's all we're going to do right there. And as far as I know, there's nothing else really out here to look at. We'll drive around real quickly, see if I see anything else, but I'm pretty sure that's about all there is to this map. One thing that was kind of interesting about this map is the actual file size was crazy small. It was like under a megabyte. Most maps, they're like 100 megabytes at least. This one, it was like in kilobytes. It was just like, what? Is that right? But yeah, I installed it and boom, that's the whole map. I guess it just reuses the resources in PBG Drive in a very efficient way so you don't need to re-download things that are already in the game. We could try driving up this cliff over here. This one I could actually make it up with a little bit of momentum and then we can make it down as well. That was actually really enjoyable to drive up. I was uh, not really expecting any of this to uh, be as good as it is and yeah. Okay, D-Series, way easier to roll than the Roamer. You would think, Roamer, oh, it's going to be heavier and easier to flip, but I think it's just the, the suspension on the Baja D-Series might be a little more Baja-y, which makes it a little more prone to roll, rolling, where the Roamer, 
it's a little streeter where it just doesn't have as much ground clearance to it so actually the center of gravity is a little bit lower maybe or maybe it's just all based on coincidence i don't know but uh, i think that'll do it for this video since this truck is dead so until next time this has been ybr i'll see you and i'll leave you with kind of a big idea of what this map looks like from above